are going to see regarding towards integrating Arduino with AWS Cloud. So before going to the cloud, we have to discuss regarding towards the baud rate. So baud rate, it is one of the most important uh, function. Many of them were asking the doubts regarding this particular baud rate. So here inside this baud rate, uh, it has a clear definition that the information that has to be transferred to any of the device, the rate of information, how much information we are able to transfer. So that only it is known as baud rate. So communicating between two different devices. So here, if you are having the 9600 means this much amount of data will be transmitted. If you are using 1,15,200 means this much amount of data will be transmitted. And the formula for baud rate is FP divided by 16 into UX BRG plus 1. So UX BRG it is nothing but the complete data which has been taken from the frequency. So it is uh, each and every kinds of application has their own frequency based on the crystal oscillator. So from that whatever we are able to get that particular data only here it has been completely displayed. So based on this particular formula only the baud rate is being calculated. Now let us get into the AWS cloud. AWS it is commonly known as Amazon Web Service. So generally with this cloud what are all the applications like we can watch the movie then we can monitor anything store any kind of data implement machine learning implement augmented reality virtual reality so this kind of different different applications it is possible with the help of aws now from this aws we are just going to focus only on one particular part known as iot core so from that we have to know what are the steps to be followed those are nothing but create an account in aws so that is the first and foremost thing so hereby i have already created an account for creating it requires a debit card or credit card so with that we have to just create this particular aws account so hereby i'm just logging into my account so hereby i have logged into this particular aws account and therefore this is that particular main page of this particular account so from here what and all the services that is available means to compute we can go with ec2 light sail lambda batch elastic serverless application aws uh, outpost ec2 image builder aws app runner then inside containers elastic container registry elastic container service kubernetes red hat open shift service and if you go for storage we can go for s3 efs fsx s3 glacier storage gateway aws backup if you are trying for uh, database rds dynamo elastic catchy neptune amazon qldb amazon document database amazon keyspace time stream memory db and if you are going for migration and transfer migration hub application migration service application discovery service database migration service service a server migration service transfer family aws no family data sync then if you go for networking vpc cloud front root s3 sorry root 5 root 53 api gateway direct connect api mesh and cloud map global oscillator code star code commit artifact build deploy pipeline cloud 9 cloud shell x-ray and aws this Similarly, if we go for like this kind of functions, we can go for media services to store a, a media live trailer element section, then Proton, Prometheus, Compute Optimizer. So this and all comes under the management and governance, then quantum technologies, satellite, blockchain, robotics, RoboMaker, customer enablement, machine learning. So for machine learning we have this much SageMaker, Augmented AI, Code Guru and similarly for AR and VR we have Amazon Sumerian, Analytics, Security Identity and Compilance. Then Game Development comes under Game Lift, Internet of Things comes under with uh, IoT Core, Free RTOS, IoT One Click, Analytics, Device Defender, Device Management, Event Grass, IoT Green Grass, IoT Sitewise, IoT things graph. <coughs> so hereby from this services we are going to work under IoT core. 
therefore i have selected the iot core now within this if you want to monitor means whatever the things we have created for everything the monitoring displays will be applied over here each and every hour each and every day so like that now similarly how to create this particular page so go for manage go for things so after that going inside the things therefore we have to click on create things so click on create things if it has to be created a single thing or many thing that is our choice so we are going for the create single thing then we have to enter the name of the thing i am giving it as pan iot so this and all no need to select no need of shadow click on next and again auto generate a new certificate uh, so therefore certificates are must therefore we have to go for auto generate a new certificate whenever uh, after generating the certificate please make sure it should be downloaded so that is the uh, most important part inside this particular function now uh, we can just uh, click on next then go for that particular attach policies so here we have to create policies if need if you need to create the policy means click on create policy and provide the requirement requirements like uh, policy name what and all the policy should contain so like uh, here i'm providing it as again i open the actions will be iot publish comma iot iot subscribe these two actions only should be taken allowing the effect click on create now the policy has been created over there click on i open select the policy and click on create thing you can also use the previously created policy to show how the policy should be created uh, i have just gone under this complete process now therefore it has asked for the prompt of certificate we have to download all the certificates now click on download this is for device certificate here it will be showing an option and uh, therefore we have to enable that keep now you have to download public key file then download private key file let us wait for some time and now therefore the certificates has been completely downloaded now therefore the complete hub has been created for our requirement now let us go for things so here pan iot is the currently selected one now from this we can view all our certificate thing groups device shadows interactive everything can be seen over here now based on our particular uh, running part inside this uh, arduino on that basis here we will be working on it so if you want to just make that particular key value here we will be able to create it now let us see how to install the package inside the arduino so open arduino go for sketch manage libraries let us wait uh, till this particular process gets completed so now type aws now we can select the required version and if you click on install it automatically installs all the required functions over there so in this way only we will be installing packages into the arduino so now we have seen creating an account required packages for arduino ide as well as how to get the certificates now therefore next we will be seeing how to deploy the certificates into the code thank you for watching our video if you like this video kindly click on the like button and share the video to your friends don't forget to subscribe our channel